Hey guys, it's Shivan from Hero Energy and Engineering, and I'm here with my colleagues Aidan Brookson and Gil Amdursky from the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority. And we're really excited to be live at the CoreWrite Microgrid and demonstrating our blockchain-based transactive energy dashboard. The purpose of today's demonstration is to show how different buildings in our microgrid can trade energy with each other and ultimately really maximize the use of renewable energy. So in our microgrid, we have four different buildings. The Sunny Hut, which has rated 10 kilowatts capacity, but right now we're only outputting about seven. The Wind Hut, which has the electric load, which is a heater we can turn on and off. And here we have an electric vehicle. Right now it's on standby power, uh, 1.5 kilowatts, but this Nissan Leaf is actually rated to go to six kilowatts. So those are the different buildings and assets in our microgrid. Um, we also have the blockchain running in the background, which I'll show you a little bit later. The purpose of the blockchain is to take energy bids from all these controllable assets, find the equitable point of energy prices, which is called the market clearing price, and then accordingly turn on the, the loads and the generators that won their bids. So let's go ahead and show you a demonstration. All right. So I'm going to open up uh, a new interval, a market interval, and this is going to allow different bids to come in and be stored in that particular interval. In this case, the electric vehicle just came home. We don't really need it to charge. The e-load we're going to bid at 10 cents per kilowatt hour and 5 and 16 respectively for the PV and the grid. The 16 comes from time of use, so it's 1.30 right now uh, here on a weekday and that's peak time of electricity for us so that's why this is a little bit higher and what's important to understand here is that we're essentially bidding for who is going to get to use this real power that's being generated from the sunny hut so we want to maximize the use of this and we've set that the e-load is willing to pay 10 cents per kilowatt hour for its energy and here the PV, or the Sunny in this case, is letting it go for $0.05 cents per kilowatt hour. So let's go ahead and submit these bids to the blockchain. We're using Hyperledger Composer as our blockchain uh, implementation tool. Just takes a little bit of time and it will be submitted to the ledger. Press OK and now we're going to close this interval. So this is going to allow the smart contract to run and calculate that market clearing price. And here we have it. Market clearing price is calculated at 5 cents per kilowatt hour. And since the electric load bid over that at 10 cents, it gets to be on. The EV didn't submit a bid, so it remains off. So now when I press OK, you should see the electric vehicle turn on. And you see this, negative 19, that's indicating that we're exporting about 19 kilowatts to the grid. Now, because this is rated between five and six kilowatts, you sh should see this number drop to about 15. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And there it goes. So that e-load's taken place, and now we're reducing less amount of kilowatts to the actual grid. So let's do a new interval. Interval 76, again, we will submit the bids. In this case, we're gonna demonstrate that the electric vehicle now needs a little bit of charge. So we're gonna go ahead and outbid the electric load, 15 to 10. And you'll notice we've kept the load still less than the grid, which means we still wanna use all available energy at the microgrid and not use uh, the grid energy just yet. So let's go ahead and submit those to the, to the blockchain. And we should be able to see in a couple of seconds this commit onto the ledger. And we will go ahead and close that interval again. <clears throat> in this case, uh, the smart contract executed. We see that it's about 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And now we see the reverse because the EV outbid the e-load the e-load will turn off, the EV should turn on. Again, we'll press OK. Immediately see this off. This goes back to 20, and this rising to the electric vehicle as well. 
And now we see that the electric vehicle is charging almost at its rated capacity. Now for the final part of the demonstration, let's say we want both on. So again, we go back to the drawing board, we submit our bid. In this case, we're both going to outbid the price of the grid in this case. So we would like to ensure that both of those loads are on, the e-heater as well as the electric vehicle. We'll go ahead and wait for the bids to commit to the blockchain. And again, close that interval. And we see the market price of 16 cents per kilowatt hour. The EV and the e-load will both turn on. And we should see that in this case. This goes on and the load is reduced accordingly as well. And the electric vehicle is still charging. So that's the demonstration from the dashboard point of view. Now, if we go forward and actually go towards Hyperledger, we can see the, the ledger in action. So if I go, and these are all the different experiments that we've done over the couple of months here. But if you recall, our market interval started at 75. And in this, what we can see is the market clearing price at 5 cents. All the bids and the right time that we had, the PV bidding for 10 kilowatts. We go down 76. If you remember, our market clearing price was 10 cents. And the last interval was 16 cents, which we can see over here. So this has been recorded to the ledger. And this is the single point of truth for us. And that concludes the demo. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.